Greetings, bonjour, and aloha. This is Jonathan, and wanted to shoot a quick video for those of you who want to attend the upcoming retreat but are having some financial uh, challenges in uh, being able to justify the investment of getting here. Now, I call it an investment because it truly is an investment into your future, into your vision, and into your business. Um, and I can absolutely guarantee you that if your main effort is to make money and increase your revenue and increase your income, that is what we will focus on um, in the retreat. And I guarantee you that you will have a much clearer strategy, more tools, and more clarity around your vision, your business, and how to increase your revenue. I have no doubt in that whatsoever. Um, clients who I've worked with in the past have shown massive increase in their ability to raise money on a frequent basis and sustain their lifestyle. And you know, I'm not guaranteeing you that you're gonna make a million dollars, but I am guaranteeing you that you're going to um, be able to build a business model that will help to sustain your lifestyle. And and I think that's a big, um, a big, it's an important thing to talk about because a lot of people you know, think, oh, I'm gonna start a business and become a millionaire or I'm gonna be financially free. Yeah, financial freedom sounds great. I look forward to the day that that happens for me where I don't have to work anymore and I can just do whatever the heck I want with whoever I want, wherever I want, whenever I want, you know? I think that's the big goal. But until then, um, we have to sustain our lifestyle. And, you know, with um, in sustainability, we talk a lot about triple bottom line business models, which is people, planet, and profit. Traditional businesses focus mostly on the bottom line, which is profit, profit, profit. Um, but we're here in the 21st century. Uh, sustainability is important for our economy, for our environment, and for our people. So people, planet, profit, and then I like to add prosperity. Um, you could just be people, planet, profit, prosperity. Um, so, m mind you, I just woke up. <laughs> I'm, I'm here having breakfast in France. I'm on a road trip going to Spain, and I'm gonna go do a, a speak at a retreat. You know, I'm speaking at a, at a festival this weekend for digital nomads. Um, this is what it, this is what it looks like for me sustaining my lifestyle. You know, I'm not a million, I'm not a millionaire, um, but I'm able to travel the world. And I surround myself with incredible people. I'm always in inspiring locations where I feel inspired to create, and I feel aligned. And so I wanted to give you some tools to do this for yourself and in your own life. So if you are right now in a place where you want to raise money for uh, attending the retreat, what I would start by doing is write, um, just open up a new document on Google, a Google document. If you don't have Google documents, I suggest you open that up or open up a new note on your computer or on your phone or on a piece of paper. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is I want you to write down why you want to attend this retreat um, and what is calling you to be here. So the first thing is what is your why? Why do you want to be here? And, and consider that you are going to be sharing this with people who might want to contribute to your meeting your goal. They might want to contribute financially. Because what I have learned over the years is the power of asking. There's a really good book that I like to um, give to my coaching clients and it's called uh, The Aladdin Factor. I believe it's written by Jack Canfield um, and The Aladdin Factor is all about the power of asking. And the more that you ask, the more that you can receive. It's the law of attraction. It's um, the golden rule. It's the you know, knock and the door will be opened. Ask and you shall receive. And that was backwards. <laughs> so just consider that. Um, I went in, in 2012, I had been invited to attend the World Congress, oh no, it was the um, World Youth Congress. And I was going to represent Hawaii and the United Nations in, in Hawaii. And I didn't have a lot of money. And so I launched a fundraising campaign. Um, I believe it was a Kickstarter, and I raised $5,000 for my trip just by asking and putting together a compelling story and a compelling offer. 
and so basically um, what I did was I said that you know I want to go on this trip um, I plan to volunteer when I go there I'm gonna volunteer I'm gonna give back so it's not just me going on a vacation it's me going on a journey to contribute to the world I'm gonna give back in a, in a certain way um, and these types of people are going to be impacted I'm gonna you know do this type of project whatever it may be you got to be creative and I'm also going to write a book uh, kind of like a, a summary of the experience and so um, I ended up teaming up with a group of students and we actually helped develop the 21 or the the um, uh, sustainable development goals for the United Nations and I was there during that and we produce those and those are now used around the world this SDG is the sustainable development goals so I was there during that time I got to contribute to that and so you know being a part of a project like that now I got to bring that back and what I did was I shared a workshop when I returned back to my location so you can share a you can create a workshop based on what you learn at this retreat and you can bring people in whoever donates to your cause will then receive money I'm sorry, <laughs> did I just say it? Whoever you receive money from will receive a workshop, so they'll receive a training. <laughs> sorry, again, it's like seven o'clock in the morning right now, um, somewhere in the world. Uh, <laughs> so so you, 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 you explicitly say this in your description. What is your why? What is your offer? You know, what are you gonna be doing? I'm gonna help these people, I'm gonna learn about these different modalities and then I'm gonna create a workshop. People who donate, this is what you get. Because people who donate wanna get something in return. Some people are willing to give without, with no strings attached. Other people need those strings. They want, they wanna receive something. And, and, and they deserve to receive something, especially if, even if it's just a summary or a video of your experience, showing them that their investment was worthwhile and you didn't just run off to Mexico with the money. You know what I mean? So show them that you, their investment was a worthy investment. And you get to come to this workshop. I'm going to host a workshop when I get back. And you're invited. You get one ticket plus a friend. And think of that. Oh my gosh. You could like launch your business right then. You know what I mean? Like if you were to actually do this, this could actually contribute to your future. And this is without even doing the stuff that we're gonna be doing during the week where we're gonna be actually talking about your business and your future. So this is just the first idea. This is the idea that's going to help you raise the money. So once you do this, I would suggest using either um, a Facebook event invite as a platform to share and get people to donate if you have PayPal you would have to have them send you money through PayPal or cash be explicit again list it say it how to donate you know you what is your why what do you get in exchange or donor do, people who contribute get this and then how to donate and then you need a link so it's either gonna be your PayPal your Venmo or maybe you do a GoFundMe. I, I think GoFundMe is like one of the best ones um, as far as like their, they don't take very much percentage, I believe. Um, but it's, you know, so you can have your GoFundMe link and you can have everything on your GoFundMe link. I also encourage you to make a little video on your smartphone if you have one, just like I'm doing right now at seven o'clock in the morning without having shaved just having eaten, my teeth are probably, you know, co have coffee, you know, it's just like bacon, you know. <laughs> and just do a video and say, hey guys, how's it going? My name's Jonathan. And in just uh, one month from now, there is a very powerful uh, business, uh, what would we want to call it? Not, not a yoga retreat. <laughs> You'd want to call it more of like, a, uh, a future engineering or a business engineering uh, workshop that I really want to attend where I'm gonna be able to um, focus in on for one week on my business and my vision and creating a strategy for my future so that I can you know go go back to my child 
and make enough money to provide her with a powerful life or so that I can go back to my hometown and or so I can move to Hawaii or so I can move to wherever and be able to survive and thrive and I want to um, if you donate towards helping me get there I want to make it worth your while and so this is how I'm going to give back cool um, then once you get once you get that platform up once you have your website um, and an online platform some way shape or form for people to contribute whether it's a Facebook event invite with links to your Venmo and PayPal or a actual GoFundMe that would be probably the best option then you want to start reaching out you want to make a list of all of the people that you think would contribute um, this is friends and family you know anyone from your parents your grandparents your aunts your uncles um, those are the first people that you want to reach out to the people who know you the best the people who are closest to you even your ex boyfriend or girlfriend whoever it may be um, who wants to see you thrive you know, and you call them up and you say, hey, how's it going? How have you been? I wanted to connect with you and, and catch up. It's been a while. Um, do you have time to connect sometime this week? Or is now a good time? You can text them this. You can set up a meeting with them. Check in with them. Set up a time. This is how you f raise funds, you guys. This is I have been trained by some of the leading experts in fundraising. This is what you do. So you set up a phone meeting or a personal meeting, a face-to-face, -face, and then you say, hey, well, just so you know, so I'm, you know, like, this is where I'm at in my life, um, and I, I'm planning on attending this training, and I really want to make it happen, and um, it costs this much, and I currently have this much, and I'm doing a fundraiser right now. When I did my fundraiser, just so you know, I, I recorded four poems onto my smartphone. I put it onto my computer, I burned it onto a CD, and I wrote a message on each one, and I sold my poetry on an album for donations. I said, oh, it's donation only. Some people donated five bucks, some people donated 50 bucks. You know, I was creative, so keep that in mind. You're doing a fundraiser. You're not asking for free money. I, you say, I'm doing a fundraiser right now to attend a business leadership training that's going to help me get clear on my my business my strategy this is really speaking to me I really want to attend this event and won't you please donate to this cause and if you do here's what you get in, in exchange um, and I also want to support you you know you can say I also want to support you so like if you if this type of stuff is interesting to you I would love to do like a one-on-one -on -one session with you you can tell them this after the retreat, we can set up a time and I'll share with you what I learned. Or maybe you make a little video series about what you learned. We're definitely going to be making some videos at the event. Be ready for that. So, these are some ideas. So then they might say, oh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I can contribute, blah, blah, blah. And you say, okay, well, it's, it's totally okay. I mean, every little bit counts. So, I mean, whether you want to donate $5 or $500, I'm more than willing to um, to receive that, and I would love to receive that from you know you or anyone who you think might be willing to contribute. You got to word it. You got to play with the wording, you know, and, and actually write it down. Um, another way of asking would be like, hey, I'm doing a fundraiser right now to go to this business leadership event, and I was wondering if you would be interested in contributing towards my fundraiser. And then you just stop talking and you listen. And they're like, oh, well, what is the event all about, they ask. And you say, well, pretty much it's a leadership retreat where I'm going to be given and trained on a lot of different interpersonal relationship skills. We're gonna be brainstorming about our vision of the future. We're gonna be looking at different business models that are new and innovative business models. Um, and I'm gonna be you know, learning these tools so that I can integrate them into my strategy for the future. And, and we even actually create a strategy for our future. And we have this network of support and, and, and a tribe to be a part of. And so 
um, yeah, it would be awesome if, if you were interested in, in contributing towards this fundraiser because I really, really, really want to go to this. It's, it's so in alignment with my heart's calling. It's something that I've really been needing, uh, a community of support in this way. And yeah, and if you're willing to contribute, I mean, I would love to give back to you in some way. And so I'm curious if this type of retreat is something you'd be interested in joining me to you know, invite them, you know, um, or if not, I would love to, you know, like take notes and, um, afterwards I could do like a little mini training with you and give it, you know, and so that you can learn what I learned at the retreat. Boom. You know, so consider those ideas. Um, they might say, you know what, right now is a really tough time for money. And you might say, and this is, I'm just being, playing the angel's advocate here, guys. <laughs> so they might say it's a really tough time on money, you know, but they haven't said no yet. Well, that's okay. I totally understand because, you know, just keep in mind, like every little bit counts. So even if you can only donate 50 bucks, like that would get me one step closer to getting there. And again, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make it, to reciprocate, you know, so you want to start to offer different, you know, you want to keep, keep asking. And this is something you guys, this is like your first training here in sales is, you know, that in sales, they always say never take no for an answer. You know, it's, it's always yes. And, or maybe, and, you know, it's not, but I can't afford it. It's okay. I understand. And I also want you to know that, you know, if you were to contribute, if you were to even come up with, you know, say ten, ten dollars, ten euros, ten francs, ten pesos, whatever it may be, wherever you may be, I want you to know that I want to take the knowledge that I'm gonna gain and I'm gonna put it into a form and I want to give it to you so that you can also you can also benefit from this. You know, so I just want you to know I like like this is so big, it's so powerful. There's, there, there's something that wants to be born through this right now. There's something that wants to be born in this retreat. There's something that wants to be born through me. I'm feeling this deep call to create and I just really need support. Even if it's alone from a family friend. I guarantee you that what you're gonna learn at this retreat is gonna help you make enough money to afford this. As long as you commit to taking action. guarantee it this is your sacred strategy this is that unique soul calling that wants to emerge through you because our soul has an unfolding evolution our soul is always evolving it's always unfolding similar to how a shell is unfolding with the Fibonacci sequence similar to how a spiraling plant is opening up we all have a soul and it's always evolving it's always unfolding and, and I, I truly believe that there is a way that we can align our soul's evolution with a business model so that our soul's evolution is what sustains us financially, interpersonally, spiritually, emotionally. It's what fuels us. It's what drives us. And that's what we are here to explore. What is that model that we can align with our souls unfolding? so that we can come into a deep state and a sense of alignment and fully express ourselves in this lifetime because that's what we're here to do. What else would we do? Not do that? You know, like, come on, let's go. Cool? I believe in you guys. If this video speaks to you, let me know. I wanna know. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the, mess in the uh, comments. I wanna hear about them. I want to see you guys at this retreat, no matter what. And we also have options as well, just so you know about camping. So if you wanna camp, that will reduce the cost uh, substantially. So that's also an option. Um, but we do wanna sell these rooms out because keep in mind, you guys, like this is a really epic mansion that we're gonna be staying in, where we're gonna be doing the retreats and all of that. So we, we definitely need people to help contribute towards the rooms, but like, if you're really struggling with cash, we also have options for camping and it'll be glamping. Don't you worry. Cool? Lots of love you guys. Aloha. Talk to you soon.